In just a matter of minutes, a crook with a saw can crawl under your car and cut out the catalytic converter. It's already happened hundreds of times this year alone in the Pikes Peak region. Criminals then look to sell that valuable part, leaving your vehicle in need of a costly repair. Earlier this month, we showed you one of these crimes caught on camera as a suspect with a saw cut out the catalytic converter of this work truck parked at a construction company in Colorado Springs. Each one of these is costing someone anywhere from two to $5,000. Detective Dennis Mallett has investigated crimes like this for the last decade and says catalytic converter theft is only getting worse. Uh, the metals that are in it are, uh, are rare and uh, it's driving up the price in the market. So. Thieves uh, have figured that out and uh, they know how to steal it quickly. The crime stats show the exponential increase in catalytic converter theft investigations for CSPD. Back in 2019, there were just three. In 2020, it jumped to 106. And this year, investigators tell me there are now more than 300 cases so far. Even with these numbers, investigators say catalytic converter thefts are some of the most underreported crimes. Based on some of the arrests uh, that I've made uh, in the last, uh, this year alone, uh, I believe they're very underreported. Uh, we've had, uh, I've had two suspects admit to stealing over a thousand of them. At Bud's Muffler in Colorado Springs, technicians are seeing catalytic converter theft victims stream through their doors looking for repairs. Owner Jeff Goodwin says sometimes he has to deliver bad news. I mean, it's it's totaled some vehicles. Since the first of the year, catalytic converters have tripled in value. Fed up with the crime spree, Bud's Muffler decided to be proactive, offering a free service to protect customers and help investigators. We are painting catalytic converters with a flame resistant paint. And what it does is it marks the cat so that if, if someone is caught with one of these painted cats, the police know that the catalytic converter is stolen. And then they can look at that cat and we engrave the VIN and the tag number on the cat so they can trace it back to who it was stolen from. Investigators say even if you aren't a car expert, you'll probably know if you've been a victim of one of these thefts. You're going to notice pretty quickly because uh, once you start your car, there's a there's a big chunk missing out of your exhaust system, so it's going to be a lot louder. The experts making these repairs say lawmakers need to take a look at this issue and try to hold people accountable who are buying the stolen catalytic converters, fueling the problem. I don't know if it's salvage yards or whatever, but if you're buying cats, you have to have paperwork on it. I think that would slow some things down. Investigators want us to remember these are loud crimes using a saw, typically in the overnight hours. Surveillance video and Crime Stoppers tips go a long way in solving these crimes. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.